Hi all, this is Sachin, Sachin VC. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Sachin. So this is a new playlist. Uh, in that one, uh, we are going to study the schedules, the web schedules. So the schedules are definitely used to show the quantities take off. Okay, so uh, we all know like in that project, we are placing some uh, model categories such as uh, cable trays, MEP be elements like uh, air terminals, FCUs, then tacti pipe work, uh, firefighting devices, flex tag, everything we are placing in the uh, project uh, we all know. So if you need to quantify, I mean if you need to take a quantity takeoff means you have to do the scheduling. Okay, so um, that is known as scheduling and uh, reverse schedules are uh, basically similar to the spreadsheet. I mean uh, it is having the rows and column. I mean yeah it is having the rows and column in that one uh, the columns are the parameters i mean the fields and the rows are the data so each element so let so next is from where we can create the schedules actually there is two way of approaching uh, first is uh, in that view tab we will get the river schedule here from that one we can create the schedules and the second approach is in that project browser we can uh, identify the schedule quantities here after that right click and create a new schedule so after clicking the uh, new schedule uh, <clears throat> one pop-up will come so in that dialog box we need to provide the three inputs i mean first input is the category and next input is the name of the schedule and the schedule type these are the three input we need to provide so first of all we need to identify the which category we need to take the quantity I mean, if it is air terminals, go with the air terminal. You will identify it by, yeah, here you will get the air terminals. So that in this first schedule, what I'm going to do is I will going to take the quantity of air terminal. So I just choose the category as air terminal. So based on the category which we selected, the name will come accordingly. So here I selected air terminal because of that air terminal schedule will come. I can customize according to the, uh, uh, standards of the BEP, I mean building execution plan. After that, you need to select which kind of schedule we need to provide. Schedule building components or schedule key. So schedule building components are defined as it can be listed the instance of the components in your project if you want to know how many mechanic equipment is placed in the building. So it's just like which all the uh, families that you inserted in the project that you can quantify from here schedule type is just like uh, just like a set of default information that is customized by ourselves only so there is no relationship between uh, families which we placed in the project with the key schedule so if you want to quantify means go with the schedule building components Okay, then after that click OK. So after clicking OK button, uh, another uh, dialog box will come. In that turn, we have to uh, give the information on the field, filter, sorting and grouping, formatting and appearance. These all things we will discuss on the next video. So please continue on watching the playlist. So this is Sachin signing off from the Sachin channel. So please let me know your, com uh, your valuable feedback in the comment section. And thank you guys. Bye.